Hey, on the subject uh, of, of romance and mm. lies and, and people love. being and love, um, mm-hmm. uh, all week we have been entranced by the story of the French girl who uh, put the video out looking for her. Uh, yes. Uh, the guy she had the one night stand with, the In Aussie Malula guy. Bar. Yeah. Natalie Amiot. Well, it went all over the world. Is it just a taste of it? It's a really cute guy. And for me, it was love at first sight. And we had a beautiful night. And on the next morning, I flew home to Paris and I lost my phone with his number on it. So I have no way to contact him. And six weeks later, I found out that I am pregnant. Uh, every almost what every a touching story. Well, almost every news service in the world picked up on it, Katie, yes. and it yes. just became what everyone was talking about. And they still are. Yeah, but now mm-hmm. we're talking about the fact that it was a hoax yes. and that that you know how it worked. And uh, we've got right now we've got the man who came up with the hoax, Andy Sellers from Sunny Coast Social Media. This was your idea, wasn't it, Andy? Uh, it was, yes. And why? Um, look, I, I did it in the beginning just to get a few views, just to get a bit of publicity for my company, to do something that would hopefully go viral. I didn't, obviously, I, I didn't think it would go outside Queensland. I didn't know it would go global, but, um, well, I did. <laughs> so you, you employed this, uh, this young student, a French girl, you, you paid a little bit of money to do the video. Um, how many hours b- between putting the video online did you realize? Till you realised that it was huge, was it straight away, like an, within an hour? Or look, we, we met up in the morning. We had a coffee. We said, "Look, should we do this?" Yeah. Walked to the beach, shot it, went home, put it online, left it, got a few views, and then it just died off. And then one newspaper—I I can't even remember now—one mm. paper ran with it, and then once one did, then they all did, and then it just went mental. And um, at that point. Nobody knew it was a hoax. So what are you thinking then? Are you like, yeah. oh, this is great, or are you thinking, oh, no? How many hours? How many hours before it, between it going nuts and you coming clean? Um, I, look, I, I, I'll be honest with you. I, I haven't really slept for the last three days. <laughs> as soon as it started going mad, I was like, well, what do I do? Yes. So I had a few cold beers, and I was just looking at the... <laughs> It's going up, and then it went to New Zealand, and then it went to Japan, <laughs> and then when my friends back in London, I so I, yeah, I panicked. I didn't know what to yeah, do. Yeah, of course. Well, it's still out, and then it, then then Ellen's emailing me going, Ellen, too generous. <laughs> I'm like, what am I going to do now? I'm in so much trouble. I'm going to be the most hated pommy in Australia. So, um, so what yeah, did you? I yeah, and then when the uh, when was it in the panic that you confessed, or was it post panic? I just thought, you know what? I just thought, look, I, I can't just let this run. It's it's it's. Oh, I've got to end it. And um, you know, I, I the reason I wasn't going to do the second video. The reason I did the second video was to purposely put me on camera so that people know that um, I'm to blame because. Look, I knew, right. I knew she was going to cop she some was hate. A she helped. Yeah, she helped me out. You know, I didn't want. I, I thought yeah. like the backlash is going to come on her. I'm not going to have that. Yeah, right. Um, I created this. I'll, I'll take the stick. I'll talk to people and I'll deal with whatever happens. So yeah, that's why I did the second video. Got it out. Ended it. And um, yeah. Why? Why are. would people get angry, Andy? I mean, for me, it's just a good joke and good on you. You've done well. But what are what are people saying in their anger? The ones who are getting angry. Well, I mean, look, it's, it doesn't really matter whether you put up a video of Fluffy Kitten. Someone's going to put a comment up and say, I don't like it. I, but it wasn't Fluffy not, Kittens. If it's not an emotional video, if the content isn't enough to get people talking about it, and, you know, the next morning in the office by the water cooler, then it's not going to work. So I, I had to do the pregnancy thing. Everyone loves a love story. You know, maybe if I could go back and change a few things, I would have, but I, I wasn't getting any sleep at that point, and I was doing the social media stuff to let people know that, so you know, you, get involved and help you me. Don't, so, just yeah. quickly, you don't regret it? You, if you had your time over again, you would do it again? Oh, yeah, I'm going to do it again. I, I, my next oh, one, you do it again. Uh, my, ne- my next course. one's about He's Melbourne, just... so watch out for that one. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good on you, mate. <laughs> Andy Sellers there from Sunny Coast Social Media. We'll put that uh, video up on our Facebook page. Everyone knows page who he is uh, now. He's... Absolutely, he's done it. Yeah. Hughie and Kate for the drive.